ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಹಿ ಓಂ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಹೌ ಸೂತ್ಪಣಕ ಟ್ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಕಿಲ್ ಸೀತಾ ಮಾತಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಪನಿಷ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಶಿ ರನ್ಸ್ ಅವೇ ಟು ಖರಾ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಹರ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಿ ರಾವಣಾಸ್ ಡಿಪ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಸ್ ದಂಡಕಾರಣ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಗೋಸ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಶಿ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಒನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಶಿ ಶಿ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಸೀತಾ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪನಿಷ್ಡ್ ಹರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಖರಾ ಟು ಗೋ ಎಹೆಡ್ ಶಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಖರಾ ಟು ಗೋ ಎಹೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ರಿವೆಂಜ್ ಆನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ನೌ ಖರಾ ಸೇಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ಗ ಆಫ್ ಅರಣ್ಯ ಕಾಂಡ ಹಿ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಗೈ ಹೂ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಫೈಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸರ್ಗ ಆಫ್ ಅರಣ್ಯ ಕಾಂಡ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ದೇರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅ ರಿಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ನೌ ಶಿ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪಸ್ಯಾಶ್ಚಾನ್ ರುಜವೃತ್ತಾಯ ತಯೋಶ್ಚ ಹತಯೋರಹಂ ಸಫೇನಂ ಪಾತು ಇಚ್ಛಾಮಿ ರುಧಿರಂ ರಣಮೂರ್ಧನಿ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಲೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಸೀತಾಮ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಸೀತಾಮ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಕುಟಿಲ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ಯು ಕಿಲ್ ಹರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಕಿಲ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ನೌ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ ದೇರ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಲುಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ಹರ್ ಮೂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಖರ ಲಿಸನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಹಿ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇನಾಪತಿಸ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಮ್ ಭ್ರುವಾಣಾಯಾಂ ಸುಹೃತಸ್ ಮಹಾಬಲಾನ್ ವ್ಯಾಜ್ ದೇಶ ಕರೋ ಕುರ್ದು ರಾಕ್ಷಸಾನ್ ಅಂತ ಕೋಪಮಾನ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೇನಾಪತಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಿಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಮಾನುಷೋ ಶಸ್ತ್ರ ಸಂಪನ್ನೋ ಚೇರ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಜಿರಾಂಬರೋ ಪ್ರವಿಷ್ಟೋ ದಂಡಕಾರಣ್ಯಂ ಘೋರಂ ಪ್ರಮದಿಯಾ ಸಹ ತೌಹತ್ವ ತಾಂ ಚ ದುರ್ವೃತ್ತಾಂ ಅಪಾವರ್ತಿತುಮರ್ಹಥ ಇಯಂ ಚ ರುಧಿರಂ ತೇಷಾಂ ಭಗಿಣಿ ಮಮ ಪಾಸ್ಯತಿ ಯು ಕಿಲ್ ದೆಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೀವ್ ದ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಮೈ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಲ್ ರೂಟ್ ತತಸ್ತು ತೇ ತಂ ಸಮುದ್ರತೆ ತಥಾಪಿ ತೀಕ್ಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರದರ ನಿಸಾಚರ ನಸೇ ಕುರೇನಂ ಸಹಸ ಪ್ರಮರ್ದಿ ವನದ್ವೀಪ ದೀಪ್ತ ಮಿವಾಗ್ನಿ ಮುತ್ಥಿತ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಪರ್ಣಶಾಲ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಏರಿಯಲ್ ರೂಟ್ ತದ ಸೂರ್ಪಣಕಾಘೋರ ರಾಘವಾಶ್ರಮ ಮಾಗದ ರಾಕ್ಷಸಾನಾಂ ಚಿಚಕ್ಷೇತೋ ಭ್ರಾತರೌ ಸಹ ಸೀತೆಯ ಸೊ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ದೇ ಸಿ ದೇ ಸಿ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ರಾಕ್ಷಸ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಇಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ರೆಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಸೇಸ್ ನೋ 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 ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೀತಾ I will go ahead and take care of them. Lakshana now doesn't resent because he knows his Rakshasas are big and he knows he has a job to do in protecting his sister-in-law. So he stays back. Sri Ramachandra now takes uh, his bow. He goes out and uh, he tells them that his name. He tells them uh, who Lakshana is. He tells them why they are here. And, uh, you, and, and then he says, you guys have, are, are traveling Rishis and Munis and uh, now, ha- now have got a time. to punish all of you if you really think you are great stand there uh, and let me punish you else please don't run away from here if you really have the thing in you to fight come and give me a fight because i know why you have come here and then the rakshasa said you oh you are inviting us for a fight we ourselves have come here to fight you you don't know what happens when our boss khara gets angry they he'll not let any one of you uh, survive and saying this they start the fight and this they start throwing all sorts of their uh, shastras on sri ramachandra sri ramachandra breaks all of them they all throw 14 shulas on him he breaks all of them and u
and uh, he he promises Surpanaka that he is going to not just kill but he is going to in fact take an axe and cut the head of Sri Rama. He is, he talks all those things in a very in a very big way and then he starts off with the entire army as they all start not just me telling but Ramayana as such is a Shakuna Shastra. So Maharshi is now trying to show us all the Shakunas or all the signs that Khara sees as he starts. There is a huge uh, cloud that comes on all these people. It is in the shape of a donkey and all of a sudden it rains and it rains very very hugely on the entire army and the rain is not normal rain but that is blood. The horses as as they were going they, they suddenly slip and uh, and then they continue the journey. If horses do such a thing, that means that the person who is in the carriage is not going to come back home. And around the sun, there is a pariveshana. The clouds sometimes they form around the sun in a circle-like thing. There is the sun's light also as such looks as if there is a, a round around the um, around the sun, right? So that was seen. And all of a sudden, there is a huge eagle that comes and lands on Khara's chariot. The moment any of these things happen, it essentially means that the person on the chariot is not going to come back home from battle. So they all start and then in the interim, a lot of foxes come and they start making their howling sounds. All these are very, very bad omens. And uh, but, but then since he has committed for war, Khara starts and he comes to take the fight to Sri Ramachandra. So he comes there and uh, Sri Ramachandra looks at all this. And he immediately calls Lakshmana and says, Oh Lakshmana, I think the huge army is going to come and fight us because look at look at the way the astras are behaving, the arrows are behaving. That essentially means that a huge army is coming over here. So quickly you go and take Sitama to, to protection near in a in a nearby guha in this in, in a nearby mountain. I'll take care of this entire army. And uh, Lakshmana immediately follows the orders because there was no time that Sri Ramachandra gives. Lakshmana takes her. The moment Lakshmana and Sitama they enter the guha, Lakshmana is guarding the entrance of the guha. Sri Ramachandra feels happy, and then he quickly wears his kavacha or the armor, and then he takes out the the great bow that he received, and then he makes the dhanushtankara so that everybody is aware that Sri Ramachandra is ready for battle. So all the rishis, munis, all of them come there to watch this entire battle that is happening over there. And here, uh, there's a wonderful sloka which talks about how Sri Ramachandra was looking at that point of time. Rupa mapratimantasya ramasya krishna karmanaha babhuva rupam krutasya rudrasya mahatmanaha. Here, uh, when, when Sri Ramachandra was standing like this, people were not able to compare him with anything. Okay. So there was no comparison for him. The only comparison that probably was there was uh, Shiva holding Pinaka Dhanush in his hand and facing the Rakshasa armies. And uh, the Khara's army, now 14,000 people, all of them are on one side. There is only one man on the other side. And Sri Ramachandra now makes himself angry. How can someone make oneself angry is a nice doubt that you might get. But that's the suggestion of great people. They are. They don't become angry. They bring anger onto their face to show. Even now, the way Sri Ramachandra was, has made his face red, everybody was now very, very afraid. And Sri Ramachandra now starts the war. Khara sees Sri Ramachandra and he tells his Sarathi to take the Radha till Sri Ramachandra. So the Sarathi brings Khara's Radha till Sri Ramachandra. Sri Ramachandra is on the land. All these three, all these people are in a huge open space, and the war is taking place in a huge open space. Okay, and then Sri Ramachandra now starts, you know, or, or Khara now starts the war as they start throwing all sorts of weapons on Sri Ramachandra. Sri Ramachandra looks at all of them, and then he starts doing the reversal for those ones. Okay. And Sri Ramachandra starts breaking their weapons. 14,000 is to 1 is the ratio. He starts breaking their weapons. He starts attacking them. He starts he starts killing them. And in one muhurta time, the entire Rakshasa army of 14,000 people have left their mortal bodies on the battleground. And after some time, when they look back, only even Dushana comes up front. He also is also dead. Now it's only Khara and Trisira. Trisira says, let me, oh brother, you don't go ahead. Let me go and fight Sri Ramachandra. 
um, Sri Ramachandra takes out one arrow and finishes off um, Trishira. Now Khara becomes extremely angry. He shouts on Sri Ramachandra. He takes his, his huge chariot and he starts fighting with Sri Ramachandra. Sri Ramachandra's arrows starts um, piercing Khara and he himself will not be able to face Sri Ramachandra for a, uh, for a lot of time. Thousands of um, the Rakshasas are dead and they are, they are already being seen. And uh, with all those bodies and all, the, the place was looking horrible. Already Dushana is dead, 14,000 army is dead, Trisira is dead, Khara is alone. And he still does his pitched last battle with Sri Ramachandra and he won't be successful. And Sri Ramachandra kills Khara in that battle. And with that, the entire Janasthana or the entire Dandakaranya starts celebrating. They all become extremely happy because the person who was torturing them all this while, he died in the hands of Sri Ramachandra. All the people start celebrating at Khara's death because, I mean, I have not really gone into every, every arrow, every astra and all the details, but Sri Ramachandra and Khara's battle was one worth, um, uh, or, or Sri Ramachandra and Khara's battle is one worth listening to and one worth uh, watching. So that's how that battle happens. Khara tries everything, but finally he dies in the hands of Sri Ramachandra. So once Khara is dead, uh, there is now the Surpanaka. She also flies to Lanka. At the same time, there is one more Rakshasa called Akampana who also rushes quickly to Lanka. So let them go to Lanka, let them do their reporting. On the other, on the other hand, Sita Ma, has, she has never seen Sri Ramachandra fighting till now. She has never seen Sri Ramachandra in a, in a, in a war till now. Now she has seen this entire uh, battle. Now all, while all the Rishis and Munis are coming and congratulating Sri Ramachandra in a war for the first time. And when she sees his great victory, she comes running she hugs, and she keeps hugging him multiple times in front of all the people. That's how she, she was in love with Sri Ramachandra. Now, one thing uh, which many people uh, point out in this episode is the time in which Sri Ramachandra kills. Sri Ramachandra kills entire army, Khara plus Roshana plus Trisira, everyone in one hour and 12 minutes. Um, that, that's, that, is, that in itself, that's like one ghadiya, uh, one muhurta and, and, um, uh, and a half muhurta. So in, he kills them in, in such a quick way. And... Uh, I think, I think it's one and a half ghadiya uh, in which Sri Ramachandra kills. And uh, on the other hand, some people who comment on Sri Ramachandra, they say, you know, when this Khara versus Sri Ramachandra war was going on, Khara attacks, uh, when, when all the weapons are exhausted, Khara tries to fall on Sri Ramachandra. And at that particular point of time, because he was not getting an angle to, uh, to, to fire his arrows, Sri Ramachandra takes two steps backward. Okay, that many people say that Sri Ramachandra also took a step back in a war. He should have been standing at the same place and doing the war. But he, he took a step back is what these commentators say. But no, but, but the answer to that is, since Sri Ramachandra was not getting a proper view with the, uh, to, to attack Khara with his arrows, he had to take those two steps back. That's the whole point over there. All these Rishis are happy. All these Munis are happy. Sita Ma is extremely happy. Sri Ramachandra is happy because Sri Ramachandra is happy. Since Sri Ramachandra and Sri Ramachandra are happy, Lakshmana is happy. Now, somebody who is unhappy, the, 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 those people are in Lanka. And what will they do in Lanka? That we will see in our next episode. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Vasyantu, Makas Chit Dukkha Bhag Bhavet, Om Sarvam Sati Sajit Maharaj Swam Charanar Vindar Paramastu, Swasti Jai Shri Ram.